Hey -o there, Groovy Fox here, and boy do we have a treat for you today. I believe the CW just dropped the trailer for the new Batwoman series starring Ruby Rose, and man, I'm expecting high levels of cringe from this one. I've heard bad things, <laughs> so I'm not going to get into it. I personally, I don't watch a lot of the CW stuff. I like The Flash. I never really got into Arrow. I've seen some of Legends. I haven't watched Black Lightning, so... Take it with a grain of salt. You know, I'm not too invested in these shows. I might watch them if they seem interesting. But, I don't know if you people might notice, I am a bit of a fan of Batman. I mean, he is in the center of my montage of art at the back room. He is directly behind my head. I'm just saying that this is my bat cave and I have a dog named Bruce sitting over there. So, you yeah, know, I kind of like me some Batman. So, without further ado... Let's get into this. I'm sure it's going to be hot cringe. So bear with me, people. We might get a little bit salty after this. This is going to be a fun video. Buckle up, baby. All right, let's do this, people. Crows. Represent order, eh? Ooh, do great. Scott, almost Wolverine. Oh, Batman. Ooh. This is gonna be bad. Eyes everywhere. All right, we got ladies. We got people in animal masks. What's this, Professor Pig? Okay, we have another Joker analog. Female Joker analog for a female Batman analog. Okay. Kung Fu. Yep. Sophie's missing. Sophie's missing. <laughs> okay. We're gonna find her. That's her dad. All right, we got that. Interesting. Alright, so she's a lesbian, but Cat Kane's always been a lesbian, right? So that's, you know, whatever. Okay. Alright. It's hard to tell from the trailer, but it looks like there's a lot of editing in this fighting, which means it's not good. Alright, she's. Throwing dude through walls and the refrigerators. I need you to send your father a message. Let's see. What message is that gonna be? Oof. I have left. Next scene, no bruise. Right? I don't want to lose you too. <laughs> okay. So she's undamageable? Your boss is my cousin. So Lucius Fox? Or Luke Fox? You, you, you don't want to go near that. You are okay. seriously not supposed to know what's down there. Okay, Lucius Fox is not supposed to be a dweeb, but okay. Oh, she's a rule breaker. Bats, 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 they're gonna get ya. Oof. Alright. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> All right, so the ripping off Batman begins, I guess. Oh, that looks like garbage. You're a female Bruce Wayne. Awesome. How is she a female Bruce Wayne? She's not rich, and her parents are still alive. Oh, okay. Oh, secret love, secret lips. <laughs> oh my God. It's Batman! They think, of course, you're wearing his clothes! Batman take credit for all his work. You just took everything! <laughs> what do you mean? Alright, that looks a little bit better with the red hair. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! <laughs> oh, man! Oh! Dude, that was cringy as fuck. She's she. <laughs> oh, where do we start with what's wrong with this? I'm gonna probably have to watch that again. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. All right, hold on. I'm gonna watch this again. I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this, man. This is gonna. I gotta soak this in.
better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had to watch that a time or two more to be able to digest that crap fest that I just saw. All righty. Where do we begin? You know you're on the wrong track when you're like, Batman gave up on Gotham City, right? Because Batman has no superpowers. That's the whole point of Batman. He's pretty much one guy with money <laughs> and a shitload of willpower. You ever see the thing with overpowered, the meme, overpowered, when you give Batman the Green Lantern ring? The Green Lantern rings work on willpower. You give it to Batman, way too much fucking willpower. That's pretty much Batman's main thing his indomitable will indomitable will does not mean you know what things are tough let's just fucking go and we'll pull out like i'm not sure what's going on in this it seems like they're just aping a lot of the stuff from the dark knight trilogy i mean dark knight rises batman just decides to get rid of a bomb fake his death and go on a vacation with catwoman that's not how batman works in my opinion you know I mean, I don't care. I'd rather see Batman kill people than see Batman give up on Gotham City and just roll out somewhere else. I'm not going to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Girl, you literally just walked into his house, took all of his shit, <laughs> decided that it would be better if it was you, just usurped his fucking identity. Like, I don't think you understand how this works. Do you think that there's a reason why maybe they think that you're Batman? I don't know, because maybe you're modeling everything that you're fucking doing after Batman. I mean, that's a no-brainer, Ruby Rose. Just saying. Just saying. I don't like the idea of having another Joker analog character, because I guess that they have an Alice in Wonderland gang in this, in Gotham. So, yeah, there's that. I mean, yeah, that character is definitely a Joker analog. They might as well have just gone with Harley Quinn. Also, what's her motivation? Her girlfriend disappears. Her girlfriend's not even dead. So her girlfriend disappears, gets kidnapped by this gang, and she decides to become Batwoman. Very interesting. They should have just made a Huntress show. You know, it's like her parents were involved with organized crime. She wanted to take them down. She kind of provides a good foil for it. Like, I get a little bit confused with the whole Huntress, Batwoman. I'm trying to think of her backstory, but I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of Huntress's backstory because I don't think this character is that old. So that can work for them. It can work against them. A character with a established backstory that people know people have certain expectations from it a character nobody knows you can do whatever the hell you want with it look how they dealt with star lord in the guardians of the galaxy that character was someone that nobody really knew about you can change what you want about the character it's not going to piss off a lot of people except for really diehard fans what else new gary scott is in this i guess he's her father because again she's just like bruce wayne but is nothing like bruce wayne at all except for the fact that she fights crime and she flirts with her dad i don't get that uh, yes, yeah, so there's that. Yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm really going to watch this. I might watch this for lols, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, maybe it'll be good. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be eating my words, you know. Does she have superpowers? Is she like a super soldier? Because it seems like she gets her ass kicked and she can throw guys through walls and shit like that. She's 90 pounds, soaking wet, all right? I'm six foot tall and about 180. I have, literally have twice the body mass as her. So, you know, I don't know. I'm also not a martial artist. I don't know how that works, man. Maybe she can just judo right through these dudes. Who knows? I guess she's a rebel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get this. I don't get why Luke Fox has to be some ineffective weeb character. I mean, he can definitely be like a skilled technician. I mean, he's probably almost as smart as his father. He already understands Batman's technology. He's already familiar with it. He has access to the Batcave. Like, there definitely needs to be some sort of precedent set as to why... He didn't just go and do it himself, other than the fact that I guess they're just playing him off as a Big Bang Theory type of weeb. And I think that's actually pretty stupid. I think that's pretty lame. Maybe the character will grow. Who knows? But seriously, like, I don't get what this show's point is, other than to just have a female Batman analog show. And I feel like that could have been done better with the Huntress. She seems like she's just got a better kind of story to tell. Shit, you could have taken parts of the Huntress's background and part of... Batwoman's background and blended them together into the same character and I don't think people would have cared or probably even noticed people's politics the lesbian stuff that doesn't that doesn't bother me at all what bothers me is when I see a show that seems to be made by people that don't understand a character that well so yeah and I don't know anything about Batwoman maybe they got her down to a T but I can definitely tell you they don't really seem to understand Batman too well oh and then they capped off the trailer too with uh what we need now is a hero. 
oh, what we need now is her. Like, they more or less did the exact same thing that Captain Marvel's marketing did. You know, I hope this is a good show. I wasn't a big fan of Captain Marvel. The cat was good. All right, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the other social media, Groovy Fox TV on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, man, get access to more groovy content coming at you straight from the heart of the Groovy Nation. You know, but yeah, I hope they get it together for this show. As someone that just loves Batman, I feel like sometimes these people don't understand the character that well. You know what I mean? But I guess that's what all the fans think. But let me know what you guys think. Leave any comments in the comment section. If there's anything else you want me to review, let me know. If there's anything else you didn't like about the video, let me know. We're going to try out some different stuff. Uh, yeah, I think you guys are going to like it. Thanks for watching. You guys all stay classy. And no matter what you do, stay groovy. Hells yeah. Have it. That's it. That's all there is. No more. No more. <laughs>